Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be going over the This Month in Dragalia Lost. That's right, it happened. It's the start of the month. I always forget when it comes to February because there's only 28 days. Um, we should be getting some info about the 2.5 year anniversary, which should be coming around this time. So I hope you've been saving. <laughs> I don't know how you've been saving after Persona, but if uh, you got very lucky in Persona, I hope you've been saving for that day. But we'll get to there when they start talking about it. But for now, we're going to go over the what's coming this month in Dragalia, talk about it. I hope you end up liking this video. If you do, as always, you can leave a like. It helps the channel a whole bunch. You can comment, tell me about any of the things talking about in this month. Or if I've mentioned it as well, I guess. And subscribe to me if you want to keep on having videos by me. I also have a Twitch. No, I've had Twitch. I'm streaming on Twitch now, too, so you can join that, too. I think I'll leave a link to that in the, in the news. So... I mean, in theory, if you wanted to see me play other games, you would be subscribed to me, because that's what I do for this channel, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. Uh, first off, thank you for playing Dragalia Lost. The Divine Deception Facility is here now. You can get some material. Here are the two good girls that were on the Gala Banner, Gala Jean, which someone corrected me, saying that Gala Jean's uh, passive ability is literally just like... What Dakakoden does, but stronger if you don't have to keep the- if you're a unit that doesn't keep the combo going, so... That was a very good point, so I ended up throwing one multi at her and I got nothing. I didn't- no, I got- I got something, but it was a dupe bow unit that I already had, so I was very sad. <sighs> but that's okay, if you- <laughs> I hope you're ready for this event, because if you love the characters from this event, here are the other ones coming. The Adventurer Fairy and the Dragon Gabriel, the very same Gabriel who partnered with Fiona in fact, will be available to summon the showcase starting on 3, basically tomorrow. Um, I love this art by the way. I also, it's really weird to me. I get it because it's Japan and Japan does this too, Persona does this. Um, it's weird to have the actual Archangels as Archang Archangels? Archangels. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. I'm a. I go to church. I've gone to church. Doesn't matter. Point is, it's weird seeing these high um, religious figures as summonable waifu dragons. I'm not anti it. I'm kind of just like, huh. I also kind of like this guy. Look at that look. I see where it's going. But yeah, they're gonna be coming. So if you love both of these characters, get ready for it. I definitely wouldn't mind having her. And he looks pretty cool with his, like, weird musket gun stuff. But we'll know more later. I mean, not much later. It's, like, literally a day. Or a day or two. It's currently 3-1. We'll know. We'll have info at reset. God, this is what happens when you record at 2 a.m. Let's continue. Plans for this month. The first set of quests in a new series of high-difficulty content, The Rise of the Sinister Dominion, will provide, arrive in mid-March. Rise of the Sinister Dominion features ba bosses that are tied to the Apostles and Angels who appear in the Divine Deception Facility event going on now. Details on these relationships will continue to be fleshed out for the over overarching story evolves over time. The first set, uh, Rise of the Sinister Dominion, quests Lilith's Encroaching Shadow- We're gonna end up fighting Satan, aren't we? Okay, I just realized that when I was like, oh yeah, Lilith. Uh, where was I? The first set of the Rise of the Sinister Dominion's quest, Lilith's Encroaching Shadow, will debut in three difficulties, Standard, Expert, and Master. The Demon Lilith will appear in Expert and Above. What's more, Master difficulty features a new mechanic that causes the boss to change their elemental attunement mid-battle. When this occurs, the players must adapt to a new threat by changing their teams, therefore must prepare two teams embarking on the quest, Rise of the Sinister Dominion. And if you have space off of this screenshot, it's looking like it's light at first and then you change into water. That's the only reason I can assume that they've included this team change. If not, that's very misleading. <laughs> Players can unlock additional worm print stats in the Agito weapon using materials earned from the Rise of the Sinister Dominion quest, increasing the total number of worm prints that these weapons can equip from 5 to 7. However, only special worm prints earned from Rise of the Sinister Dominion quest can be equipped in these two additional slots to upgrade these special worm prints. Players will need to collect the required materials playing Rise of the Sinister Dominion quest quests. It's clear that it's clear, then, that playing these quests has many benefits. New weapon slots and worm prints included. Since the plot of the Rise of the Sinister Dominion takes place in North uh, Grestia, 
I don't know how to pronounce that. Players must complete chapter 16 of the main campaign before they can attempt the challenge. If you're not that far in the main campaign yet, I encourage you to continue upgrading your team and play through the story until you are ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these powerful foes. Please note that Lilith's Encroaching Shadow, Master, which makes use of the team change mechanic, will only be available in solo play upon release. Huh. Okay. But a co-op play version will be added at a later date. Rise of the Sinister Dominion quest release after Lilith's Encroaching Shadow will debut with both solo play and co-op play versions available on the get-go. Further details will be provided in an upcoming notification. I hope you're looking forward to learning more about what awaits you. So before we get into the new unit. Um, I think of some of the things that I was like, how is this, like co-op gonna work with the ability to change your team? Has made the devs also go, wait, how are we gonna get this to work when you have to change teams? So it makes perfect sense to me that it's starting solo because I bet there's gonna be a lot of issues in even solo. Um, with this specific mechanic like i i fully expect this this thing to launch kind of buggy the reason is it's not because i think the devs are bad i think it's that's just generally what happens in games like even with playtesting and let it be known devs do playtest the game the problem is is that the sample size is always so small that you can't actually capture everything um compared to like, like compared to the thousand people that they have um under their wing that they hire and pay for it does not compare to the probably close to hundreds of thousands of people that play their game and will immediately tell them if something is wrong. And the way that the current game system style of stuff is now, it's easier just to have the other... It's easier for us to kind of go through it and have, find some bugs and tell them, hey, fix this, and then they give us like a reward for it. It's kind of weird, but that's just the state of the game at this current time. Not that I support it, it's just the way it is for the time being. Um, so I bet they don't want to launch co-op because it's just not ready. There's like a lot of problems you have to think about the way Dragalia plays and the way that it's currently set up. And how easy it could, eat, it could all break. Um, including mission-wise, how it could all break. So, I bet it's a bummer for people who love co-op, but... You're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer. It's also gonna be a bummer for a lot of people if you don't have eight units ready to go with their Gito weapons. Because I assume this has to be harder than a Gito. That's just the way it's gonna have to go. But yeah, that's it for this the new thing for now. A new defensive event will be held in mid-March. The story will unfold in North Grustian, City of Grams, and will feature a pair of combat androids from the region. Here's a sneak peek of one of them, Elrina, like Lexi. She has a mind of her own despite her android origins. Hello, giant android woman. She looks like a, um... What's that, uh, game with the, with the, with the big boob boats? Azure Lane? Azure Lane. She reminds me of an Azure Lane character for some reason. It's probably because of all the shit parts. Shoutouts to Azure Lane. I tried playing that, but it just wasn't for me personally. Each to each their own. The Echoes of Antiquity Raid event will return in late March. You will have a chance to add the adventurer Zhang Zhang, Zhuang Zhang, apologies for the pronunciation of this of these names, if you haven't already. Echoes of Echo Echo Echoes of Antiquity Why am I so bad? Echo Echoes of Antiquity. There you go. There's like one dude I know who absolutely hates it that I don't read these perfectly the first time around and then it's not that I don't read them perfectly, it's that I keep my mistakes in there, but <laughs> at a certain point, man, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. I don't have the greatest setup in the world. Put two of the chapter 18 part What? Put two? What am I um one moment. Usa, everything's better. Part 2 of Chapter 18 of the main campaign will be released in late March. What awaits the prince and friends in the deepest recesses of the forest of the fairies? I didn't realize it was going to end in a question mark. Additional event taking place in late March will be revealed in an upcoming Dr Dragalia Digest. Future updates, Dragalia Lost celebrates another momentous milestone, two and a half years of service on 3-26-2021 at 23pm, or 23 military time. Uh, as with previous anniversaries, information on upcoming events 
updates and events will be provided in a Dragalia Digest beforehand. Hope you're looking forward to seeing what exciting news Not has to share. In conclusion, thank you for reading this month's update. We're giving all players the following, following gifts this month. Summoning vouchers 5 and exquisite honey 30. See y'all next month. Alright, so... 326. That is over 26 days away. I don't know when exactly we'll get the digest. I'm gonna assume it will be on 325 or something. Like, the last possible time for it to be available to us is when we would get it. Um, I feel like that's the most likely scenario here with Dragalia Lost. In terms of what could be coming for Anniversary, it's hard to know. We know for sure it's gonna be a Gal unit. Who is the Gal unit? I'm. I'm personally in the my, in not the minority. I think based on where the story is going, it's going to be Galanot. If it's not Galanot, I'll be very surprised. It could be literally the some people have been saying the dude who runs the city of Grams, he could totally be the Gala unit and I'm here to tell you right now, it's Galanot. It's going to be someone who specifically add is added to the team. Um, and the way the story is going, it really feels like something's happening with Not. So, and we all know that eventually fairies turn from small fairy to big fairy. And what's more hype than big fairy? They're not going to save big fairy not for three years. That's way too long. <laughs> she would have, she's, that would have been, mm, I mean, they could. But I don't know. That's the way I'm feeling currently. And we just had a gala, gala dragon with the gala reborn. So I'm feeling it's gala not. That's my current feeling on the situation here. What kind of weapon will she have? I have no idea. Maybe she'll just have what she has in the in the Digest comics, where she just turns into a sonic spin ball, and that's how she hurts all the enemies, and then you give her a pistol. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll look forward to that Digest, and I'll keep you all informed. Or I'll, <laughs> I'll at least tell you the information, <laughs> and the people who already know the info can go, oh yeah. I want to hear Wokey tell it to me. I want to hear him mess up the word fucking antiquity. How can I can say antiquity perfectly fine? Echoes. Antiquity. Echoes of antiquity. Echoes of antiquity. Hmm. Hmm. Sendelfin. Cain of Samaria. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good day. Again, feel free to comment about any of the things we talked about here, about my bad gra- not my bad grammar, my bad pronunciations, what you're most excited for coming up for this month, if you're going to be summoning for some dudes, some lady dudes, whatever you're into. Is Lilith looking cool for you? Are you even ready for Lilith? I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure as hell not, because light was literally the last thing I wanted to grind in the world. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out!